All right, let's go ahead and talk about the vision system. We've kind of alluded to it a little while back where we talked about where these uh, sensors are located, but this has a 360 degrees obstacle vision system. And the way that it works is we have sensors at the bottom right here. We have two sensors in the front, we have two sensors in the back, and we also have two sensors right here at the top. And these allow us to kind of, well, not us, but the drone, to look all the way around and make sure that we clear obstacles. And what's gonna happen with this is that we have a mode available in the controller that's called APAS. And this is uh, the fifth version of APAS that is available from the drone. And APAS is going to allow us to bypass obstacle. Okay, and uh, that's available in normal mode and in a cine mode. And it's gonna, uh, the drone is going to figure out that there is an obstacle uh, coming in front of us and it's going to find a path either on top at the bottom or to the side in order to navigate around uh, the object. And I have to admit, the last drone that had this was the Air 2S that we tested. And, and it was quite amazing. This thing would just, found holes uh, inside of a, of a tree. We were flying near a tree, it found a hole underneath the tree and flew under. Uh, we tried it with this drone and it's also nearly uh, as impressive uh, just basically flying around. So what happens is you have different ways of setting it up inside of the controller. So I'm gonna turn this drone on real quick and then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like inside of this app right here. When we get into the settings right here, we're gonna push the three dots, and right here you can see flight assistance. And you can see that right now, well, right now it's actually not turned on, but we have three different modes. We have off, brake, or bypass. And bypass is just that. Bypass means that the drone is going to find a way around the obstacle, whether it's on top or around or at the bottom, and, um, and then make its way through. And it's pretty freaky in a sense because you're gonna move forward using the, 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 the right stick right here and move forward. And what happens is the drone eventually is gonna start drifting or climbing or, and then it's gonna go back to its original position. Brake is all that simple. You basically have get to an obstacle and the drone is just gonna stop. It's gonna sense it, it's gonna stop. And if you have the radar display right here turned on, then it's going to tell you how far this obstacle actually is. And then off is just that. If you get to an obstacle and the drone gets close to it and uh, you don't do anything, then it's gonna hit the obstacle. So, so let's go ahead and put this to the test at the field and see exactly how it works.